Hi, my name is Steve Myers. In 1945, Carl Gustav Jung made a remarkable claim. He said the most vital task of civilization is overcoming the problem of unconsciousness in the general public. And he followed this up in 1948 by submitting a proposal to UNESCO, though he was unsuccessful. Young saw public unconsciousness as more important than poverty or injustice or inequality and so on, because it presents an existential threat to humanity. His argument was that through the aggregation of political attitudes, unconsciousness in a civilized society will eventually lead to someone pressing the nuclear button and destroying all life as we know it. And there is evidence from astronomy to support Jung's view. In 1961, the astronomer Frank Drake produced an equation to help astronomers estimate how many advanced civilizations we should be able to detect in our galaxy through their electromagnetic traces. Drake's personal estimate was about 10,000. But apart from perhaps the wow signal in 1977, we do not have any evidence at all. That's the Fermi paradox. And Drake's equation suggests that it is resolved by advanced civilizations tending to destroy themselves very quickly. We don't see any of these other civilizations because they have all been and gone. In this BAPT conference session, we'll unpack the Fermi paradox a little bit more. Then we'll compare a four-stage model of escalation from the Encyclopedia of Conflict Resolution that ends in destruction with Jung's four-stage model of conflict resolution that he introduced in psychological types and developed further in later writings. That model is not included in contemporary type theory. So we'll take a closer look at it and how it relates to the contemporary ex existential threats that humanity faces. We'll finish by discussing whether we can reintroduce Jung's model back into our teaching and use of typology. I look forward to seeing you at the conference.